now i am going to tell you how to do the bars formatting there are two options so first one is the go to the view toolbar expand it and here you can see this bars button so either you will click on this one this window will be prompt up or other option is that on the gantt chart right click and press the bars button so this window is going to be open so here you can format your bars for example if you want to assign the baseline so you have to check mark this one primary baseline so it is uh, its preview is also showing here if you want to change the shape of that uh, bar you can click from here and you can see its preview is showing here so its thickness can be increased and here you want to change the color you can do that one as well if you want to change the pattern of that uh, bar you can also select from here it is its display or preview is also being shown here so i am going to keep it as it was and second thing is that uh, uh, if you want to see the baseline uh, so in which row you want to see you know that when we will uh, compare the progress with the uh, plan progress or with the baseline so we have to define both of these bars primary baseline as well as the actual work and remaining work so uh, here one bar will come uh, you can see this uh, bar is showing at the row 1 and primary baseline is showing at the row 2 it means that our primary baseline will be uh, showing uh, under the actual work so if i apply here you can see uh, okay apply if you see here in the gantt chart you can see that our baseline is coming under the remaining work line so right now we uh, we have not defined the baseline and we have not finalized the schedule yet so uh, all uh, the bars are matching but uh, the purpose of uh, showing you this uh, picture is that how you can um, uh, use the row feature of uh, formatting the bars so i am going to Uh, uh change the row uh, uh, row high row of uh, primary baseline as well so i am going to click on the bars again so i want to put the target or primary baseline as a, uh, on the row 1 and i want to so, uh, show the uh, actual work and remaining work on the level 2 remaining work level 2 critical on the level 2 i will apply and now you can see that uh, primary baseline has shifted on to the row 1 and the actual or remaining work is showing on the uh, uh, row 2 so again i will uh, i am going to um, uh, i am going in the bars format uh, if you want to change the bar settings you can do from here uh, uh, bar necking settings Uh, grouping band setting you can do from here and bar labels if you want to uh, 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 mention some uh, 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 mention some uh, labels on the gantt chart you can use from here in this way you can uh, uh, you can add from here and you can see that where you want to add the labels either on the right side on the uh, bottom uh, left etc you can define the position from here then you will go to the label what you want to assign to the activity on the gantt chart so if uh, you want to uh, here you can see on the uh, right side that the name is activity name is uh, defined with uh, on the right side with the gantt chart so in this way you can customize according to your requirement now i will tell you how to do the columns customization how to add the columns how to um, uh, change the width of the columns how to add new columns how to delete the previous column so uh, there are two options of going into the column field one is this icon you can click on this uh, uh, button you can go to the co uh, columns customization field second one is going into the view and here you can see the columns option as well and the third one which we were using previously just uh, right click and go to the columns option here you can customize the columns according to your requirement which column you require on the right side you can 
check from this uh, you can get from this available option suppose we are going to get the um, uh, one of the uh, activity code uh, to the right side which i have already performed earlier but for the sake of uh, understanding in the column customization feature i just want to tell you that how it will uh, it will happen i will just going to click on the right side so you can see that it is uh, uh, it comes under the activity id i need it uh, at the last so i can use this uh, arrow button or i can just simply uh, click and put where I need so I have put on the last in this way I can shift the fields up and down and if I double if I use the double arrow all of the activities will all and on the left side uh, on all of the fields will shift from the left to the right side so uh, if uh, you want to shift this one as it is you can select this one so uh, I'm not going to save this one so I will simply do cancel and it will it will the, the things which we have shifted from the left to the right it is not saved so I will go again into the columns option I will right click and go to the column field and you can see that uh, uh, the changes has not been happened because we have not applied here same, same uh, the other thing I want to tell you that how to edit the column if I go to the edit option uh, here you can do the alignment as well Either you want to keep the text or keep the uh, information in the center, right or left, it's up to you. You can also adjust the width of the column from here and you can also change the title from here as well. So it's up to you that if uh, you want uh, to change, keep this uh, uh, the uh, heading as it is or you want to change the title, it's, uh, it can be modified. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you how to uh, do the formatting of time scale. For example, in the Gantt chart, if you want uh, to change the months into weeks or days, you can customize according to your requirement. So in uh, here you can see that I, I can move this uh, uh, Gantt chart here and there by using this magnifier button. So if you, uh, uh, if you keep your mouse on this uh, uh, time scale, here uh, the magnifier will uh, appear so it will squeeze in and out the time scale secondly if you uh, if you click here and a pan will appear so you can move your can chart here and there then click right uh, and then right click and go to the time scale option now here you can see that the time scale format two lines three lines so here you can see on the right side that on the top year is defined and on the bottom uh, second level uh, second line month is defined so if you want to, to uh, divide this uh, time scale into three year lines you have to uh, select three lines but here we are keeping two lines then uh, our uh, time scale start is obviously definitely uh, our time scale is going to start from the project start if you click on this button you can see all the options from where you want to uh, give the start of your time scale. So uh, 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 ideally it should be PS project start. If you want to change the font and color of the timeline you can change from here and here you can see uh, the type. So we want it calendar wise our distribution calendar wise if you want fiscal year wise you can select this one or week of the year then this one but keep it as a calendar. Now here you can see the interval date interval it, it's up to you how you need the distribution, how you want the uh, uh, Gantt chart. So here I'm going to change it up to weekday one. Apply. And you can see that the our schedule is showing in the uh, Gantt chart in the form of uh, week wise. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So uh, it's very difficult to print out this one if the schedule is short of two months then it's okay to use the week wise uh, Gantt chart but it's uh, uh, almost one year project so I'm going to uh, uh, change the time scale again as a uh, month per uh, year per month so I am going to apply here and it is showing like here now I can do this one zoom in out okay in this way we can customize our time scale
now i will tell you how to display display the activity network diagram go to the view toolbar show on top and you can see here the activity network you can see the activity network diagram here on the left side the wps hierarchy is defined so in the wps there are some activities are defined so you can see that this one is the name of the wps and here all are the details of the activities that these activities are linked with each other you can see here that uh, main production hall equipment layout is connected with the main production hall equipment design so uh, you can see the linkages and the details of these activities as well um, uh, but you have to select on the left side uh, the ws in which you want to see the network diagram if you click on the top level you can see all the network diagram of all the activities if i zoom in you can see here that uh, this is the name of the project here is the ws of the milestone in this you can see different uh, milestone activities then coming to the engineering you can have different activities so all of these are linked with each other and all the diagram uh, all this diagram is showing the network connectivity so in this way you can uh, you know, use uh, this network diagram for the printout to show your management and uh, you can customize the uh, box according to your need as well so i am going to zoom in and if i want to change the feature or fields of this uh, activity i will simply uh, do the right click and i will go to the activity network options so here you can see that uh, in the activity box template uh, you, we have defined activity id and name if we want if i want to change the bo um, uh, if we are, want to add some feature in this activity box template i will go to the box template here you can see that uh, field name activity id and name are already de uh, defined i want to add one more uh, uh, field that is original duration so i am going to write here original duration here you can see it's uh, uh, this field has also been um, uh, shown displayed here so i will click ok apply and you can see here that uh, activity name activity uh, sorry activity id activity name and its original duration is being shown here so you can customize according to your needs uh, you can also change the font color font size background color box color according to your needs as if you want to go to the activity table and activity gantt chart option then go to the view show on top here you can see the table gantt chart options i will click table here you can see the activity table has been displayed but no gantt chart is appeared yet so i will go again into the view options show on top and gantt chart now you can see that uh, uh, this activity table and gantt chart appeared as uh, it was before we have displayed the activity network diagram.